didn't tell him. Still about hope. Still about change. Still about George W. Bush and his father before it. One more week of this. That's all we have. One more week. The Glenn Beck program. Uh, today with Pat and Stu. So far, uh, Glenn should be here. We're hoping he'll be able to join us soon. He threw out his back again yesterday. Putting on his socks. <laughs> and uh, really? It wasn't a pencil yeah. this time? Wait, no. no yeah. Really? It yeah. was his socks? It was his socks. He was putting on his socks, and it went, it hit him. Oh! God. And he had to crawl back into bed. Now, I don't mean to sound... <laughs> Yeah, you, you know, do. Yes, insensitive. You do. That's exactly what you mean to sound, uh, <laughs> and I support it fully. He was like when I I came over uh, to see how he was doing uh, a couple of times during the day, and he's like, "Pat, how do you you know you got a, a bad back for twenty five years now? How do you do it? I mean, how do you keep going?" I said, "Well, first of all, you have to be a real man. Mm. So that's your first problem. I mean, you're so far from that, you would have to you would have to give up 48 years worth of incredibly female tendencies mm-hmm. uh, to be able to do that. So I, I don't have any hope that he's able yeah. to do that. Well, ever. You're, you're starting him out. The first mm-hmm. thing on his task list is a physical impossibility. Impossible. Uh, so that's that really you're starting him. Yeah. Uphill. So as a result, he's not here, and I am. And, uh, <laughs> I noticed that. Yeah, no, he's supposed to join nah, us here, uh, hopefully any minute or within the next. We're hoping. You know, I don't know exactly. Yeah, we uh, got our fingers crossed. He one thing he made big promises. Yes, mm-hmm. uh, but he was doing a lot better by last night, and and I think this morning he's he's doing better. So uh, keep your fingers crossed and uh, think good thoughts for Glenn and say a prayer for him.